Hey everybody and welcome back to Crypt Monkey Paints where we are painting a wonderful leaf dragon from Epic Miniatures and he's so cute. He he is absolutely the cutest little thing in the world and he has amazing little details. I did have a little issue when I printed him in parts. Um he his where his neck connects the peg is a little bit too big so there was going to be a lot of manipulation to get him to fit together from his parts so I cheated went back reprinted him as one solid piece unfortunately that means that he is on his base but no hey I can paint a rock I don't care it's way easier to paint around his feet on the rock than it is to deal with ill-fitting slots so we are going to jump right in and start painting this little beastie because he is going to be painted like a cherry blossom tree. And that's a challenge. Got some new paints. Excited about my new colors. Pixie pink. Focus. <laughs> Hi, Gareth. <laughs> I was reading. You didn't get me. It got so, me. I got pixie pink. Oh, my nose itches. Uh, let me grab the focus real quick. I don't think it really matters because it's pixie pink and you don't need to read the words, but it's fine. Because he dead, we do need to get him focused because we had to change. He's big, like big. So I, I moved the camera over to the side. So probably a better shot. <laughs> yeah, rocks are easy. I love rocks. So, hey, stop it. Back off. Uh, so I got, there we go. I got rid of the shine. Cool. All right. So we got pixie pink, toxic oils. I mean, seriously, come on. <laughs> See, I can't like put my hand back in the right spot. There we go. Okay. Toxic oils. Mutant hue. Again, purple, but you know, hey. Centaur skin. Mythical orange. Because some, you know, as Cora pointed out, we're kind of light on our orange colors. Fire lizard. Stop stabbing me. Violet. And that is royal purple. Really hard to read because, you know, the paper is wrinkly. And then, just in case, red neon glow. But, uh, well, to be fair... Those are the new colors I got. Doing it badly. Hold on. <laughs> Those are the new ones. Everything yeah. else I already had. Yeah, says, love the colors, and that will be an awesome, be awesome as a cherry tree. Yes. Love Fire Lizard. Yes, Fire Lizard is definitely by far one of my favorite orange yellows. But I'm really excited about this mythical orange. That is like, I feel like the camera is not doing this color justice. It is super like orange. It's just orange. I love it. So I'm looking forward to that one. And so these I all left on the supports to make my life easier. But I also printed out tiny little cherry blossoms in different sizes. And I just kind of like sprayed them white real quick. But they are literally how they print is on the support and everything that way i can hold the support paint the inside you know to give it that you know kind of pinkish hue in the center and then he can wear yeah i think i think that's just changing the model it's going to be really cool yeah so i i have flowers <laughs> <laughs> there says mine too but yes i'm intrigued by that mythical orange too yeah it's like, I love Fire Lizard. I, that is definitely one of my favorite shades. But just looking at the bottles, I'm thinking Mythical Orange is going to be right up there. So I did open up two of these purples, Toxic Boil and the Mutant Hue. Oh, sorry. One more. One more. Orc Blood. Did you need a little bit of Orc Blood? Again, purple. Literally three shades of purple. And looking at, like online, looking at the Toxic Boil and the Mutant Hue, I was like, those are the same color. 
They aren't. They are actually different. It's a really subtle difference, but it's a difference. So. Eris says, Ermacurg, cherry blossoms. <laughs> so, all I did was I took him outside and I sprayed him with a really dark, um, it's kind of a brick color. Uh, and then, like, all over. And you can kind of see that color in the darker areas. And then I just hit him with a, a lighter red, kind of just real light over the top to just kind of hit some of those higher spots. And that was it. So that was my base coat. And then I colored the rock gray like I always do. And then I glued him down because he sits really well on his rock. It sits nice and flat, but the way I supported it, the bottom kind of bubbled out the tiniest bit and it makes it to where he gets a little top heavy. So he tends to start just kind of barely falling over. <laughs> it's like, son of a bitch. So I went ahead and glued him on to just a, a round reaper base and I'll, that's my favorite part anyway. So I'll make that all pretty. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go very foresty and have that all kind of things. I'm shaking the ever-living crap out of these because I have just put out some of this orc blood on the palette. And that's super bright, but you can I, hopefully you can see it's it's not mixed up. So I mix it. And I'm also kind of deciding where I'm gonna start because I don't know. <laughs> I need my picture back. I have a little reference photo that I'm putting up on having Ty put up on the screen for me so I can figure out where to start. See, the leaves are very kind of a red-orange. So, you know what? I'm going to just go into the mythical orange, and I'm going to start coloring these leaves. And I'm not really looking for solid coverage. I am looking for... Um, yeah, exactly, Gareth. I can use the base to hold on to and not touch the model. And we, we all know I'm going to grab that model randomly anyway. Oh, and we have another, more drinks. Nummy, nummy drink. Anyway, I'm not looking for the mythical, mythical orange to really give me a solid cover of the leaf. I'm looking for it to give me highlights on the leaves. Because that's the way the blossom looks. And I have the magical wet palette out in case I decide that that is the way I need to go. But I'm so used to just using a, a regular palette now. I don't know if I will or won't actually use it. Let's see. Let's get out of the way. Throwing things. So we are sorry we weren't here yesterday, but we did have a wonderful barbecue dinner with our baby. Yeah. With our baby for her birthday. Cleaning my brush, sorry have this is dr peter j hackrib and i have a wow, already for you. someone has crazy. altered the stream he ain't playing around use the wet palette that's not how that works <laughs> you're altering this stream you're making me use the wet palette is that what you're doing you got one yeah it's right here oh okay okay what did miss leo say uh miss leo says especially if someone startles you which has a 50-50 chance you will drop it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Gareth, are you using your Alter the Stream to tell me that I have to use the wet palette during this stream? Is that what you're doing? Well, what Gareth says is, get good with the wet palette. I spent the points. <laughs> do it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, I am going to use the Mythical Orange that I just put out first, though, and then I will switch over to it. <laughs> um. Because it's just, it, it's one of those things where I, I used it for a long time, a lot. And then I just, you know, kind of got in the habit of using the regular one. And then it was, I tended to dry brush more than anything else. So 
it just became the wet palette was was not really working for me. I hate this brush. I absolutely hate it. It's got an extra hair and it's pissing me off. Here it says exactly. Use the use the palette. <laughs> Okay. So I know there's not going to be much of a change over here because these are going to be like adding. I'm going to go like low layer, you know, thin, thin layers to just kind of build up that orange rather than stark stripe done. That way it kind of blends out better. And because I sprayed it willy-nilly, it already kind of has like darker areas and lighter areas. So I'm just putting orange. Right, it willy-nilly. I did. I just kind of like let it go. And now I'm, yeah, every, everyone starts singing. Um, but what I did... Because I did it that way, it kind of has higher, you know, brighter and darker spots. So I'm kind of taking the orange in where the really bright spots are in the first place. I'm making them brighter. I feel like this one, the whole thing is like really dark. So I'm just not going to put any orange on that one at all. But, guys, in the Alt of the Streams, for the first time, we have a print that is terrain, which is actually an elf house. And it will be, if that is what is chosen, we will actually be using PLA, which means Ty has to print it. And I have a fuzzy on my lip. So, if anyone chooses that, It'll be definitely different. Because I have no idea, honestly, Gareth, how to transfer this pile of, of orange. I love this orange. It is so freaking awesome. Um, I don't know how to transfer this orange. Because, you know, oh, and by the way, Gareth, what did, what, what did I say? Yes, this would be a great place to hold it. But exactly, where's my hand? On the rock. Big surprise, right? <laughs> I have to remember to pay a lot more attention to my camera angle now because I'm off on the side. I'm not used to it. Now I'm used to you guys looking straight at what I'm looking at. Now it's over on the side. A little bit brighter. gonna say something your thumb's stupid head you know you'd think i would learn to paint from this direction around to this direction because then i wouldn't rest my hand on what i've just painted that would be too simple too smart Were you going to say something? Well, I was just going to say for anybody watching on YouTube, uh, always just, just be patient. If you put something into chat, I will eventually catch it and ask the question or make the statement. Oh, that hurts. So, it has been a while since we started this show, which... I honestly had not realized it had been as long as it had been. We are coming up on a year. Crazy. Crazy. Gary says, oh, sure, make it easy on yourself. Sleo says, one, that's logic, and two, you are a chaotic painter, and that's okay. Well, technically, I'm not chaotic. Oh, no. Uh... 
brain freeze. <laughs> oh, yeah, frozen drinks. So, technically, I am I'm actually very methodical, and I what I want to do is start from this spot and work my way completely around the the entire dragon and not touch any of this until that spot is done. And I used to approach that same method to drawing. And then I had a very intelligent person say, you know, you spent a lot of time on that one four inch square and it looks phenomenal. And the rest of your paper is blank. And I could never match the level of detail to this one area that I had done in the rest of it. So in order to combat my natural tendency to focus in on this one little spot and make it pristine and perfect and then run out of time to do anything else, I force myself to jump around and keep looking, keep turning, keep um, studying all over to make sure that I'm keeping things balanced and also uh, that they look equal, you know? The last thing you want, the last thing I want is to have, you know, I spend 12 hours on this wing and get it pristine and then I'm like, I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm done. So I actually have to force myself to move around. The more I do it, the easier it gets to become my new normal. But I still find myself fixating in on one thing. I have to remind my... Let, you'll see me randomly pick up a new color because I realize I'm fixing in on this one little spot that's this color. So I stop and just go to a completely different color because then I have to... For, it forces me to move out of that area. Kara says, woot woot, one year. Be right back getting the girls in BJ's. <laughs> yeah, I read that back to back. I'm, it wasn't actually written back to back. Um... So I think we're going to have to come up with something special for our one year mark. We are open to suggestion. I am open to almost any suggestion. <laughs> Ty cannot shave his beard. That is not an option. <laughs> I'm going to get everybody to vote on it. <laughs> I'll shut down the channel before you shave your beard. <laughs> what? But yes, Miss Leo, it does seem like I am chaotic, but there's a reason for it. So now when I come back to this side, also moving around helps my paint to dry some. When I come back and add my next layer, of this orange, I won't put it like on this leaf right here. I went all the way up this side. So the second set, I'll hit less of that air, of that leaf with my next coat. Miss Leo says controlled chaos. Sounds like our relationship. You're controlled and I'm chaos. Pretty much. I am uh, absolutely not what you would call a spontaneous person. My spontaneity comes from hours worth of planning with 15 backup plans. That's not usually me. More like, let's pack a suitcase and move. I did. I used to do that anyway. Before, uh, <laughs> I naturally just want to go, hello, whoever just joined us. <laughs> I was, I don't know, it, it popped up on the screen at the same time it went quack, so I didn't have time to brace myself. Um, He looks so regal. 
very much. I love the little kind of flat nose that he has. Miss Leo laughed at you. Not me. You. That's okay. <laughs> We're married. We share our Googles. <laughs> You and that straw are about to get murdered. Oh. <laughs> so pretty. That was the problem. It was just a two-handed job here. Yeah, it's like once you start getting down to the lower parts of that drink, it's it really is like all the whipped cream from the top, and that's it. Good drink, though. That's probably loud. <laughs> Get a spoon, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> probably, it occurred to me, it would look better if I went with the flow of the leaf. Like going with the the little lines that are in the leaves rather than going against them. Yeah, I definitely have a, a very high opinion of the Bob Ross method of painting. Happy accidents are definitely my savior. Kind of wanting to add brown to these twigs to make them stand out better, but also there the cherry blossom tree, the branches really are very red kind of. It wasn't me. You know they can see me, right? Oh, my neck is cramping like They can see me. Anyway. So, while I am working my way around the backside with orange doing the exact same thing over and over again, Tyler, why don't you be slightly more interesting and talk about the Patreon again? Well, you want me to talk about it? You'd think he's drunk at this point. <laughs> I'm getting slap happy, I think. I'm getting tired. Uh, well, let's see. We just put out our first piece of content over the weekend. The, uh... The first issue of our newsletter. We decided to, for our our lowest subscription level on Patreon and Kofi, instead of doing the, hey, just give us this money and we appreciate it and thank you that 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 level actually gets the newsletter. Um, so at least folks can like for three dollars. You know what's happening. You know what we're working on and what we're developing. Right. Um, plus, there's like a little bit of bonus content in there. We're gonna add new bonus content next month, and I don't, I can't say yet, but I'm like really excited about it. It's gonna be fun. It's uh, something to hopefully put you in, put you on the world of Cathar. Uh, Gara says I'll be joining your Patreon soon, most likely June. That's cool. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, you've got the move to deal with at the moment. Um, so that's cool. We got our first newsletter out over the weekend. Uh, our first three content pieces, uh, because we're doing uh, the Agdal Farmers and Placement Advisors get five pieces of developed content wherever we are on 
that you know like this is finished for short stories we're working on now right uh five pieces every month and the first three will be probably by friday I'm friday or saturday because so. because you've got another thing to draw so i don't want to say it's got to be like tomorrow or something you know yeah but i'm gonna start working on that sketch tonight and gareth says in the whole no money thing till then yeah i got gotcha. you <laughs> I figured that was assumed when I said you had to deal with the move. Um, Miss Leo, Leo says, have you had the Patreon the whole time or am I crazy? No. You are crazy. Well, yeah. You are just crazy. I mean, and again, that can also be true, right? I would also like to point out, guys, that if I seem a little loopy and crazy, <laughs> it's actually Miss Leo's fault. Huh? Because I am hopped up on espresso sugar. <laughs> you ever need a sugar high? Miss Leo is your lady. Uh, so yeah, we we did just start that, Miss Leo. Yeah. It is uh, sorry. In order to <laughs> sugar, 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 to actually take the the plane very seriously. Yes, and to put to use not only what we were already planning to do, not only what we're and adding ourselves in house in Crip Monkey, but also to take those like I don't even know how many pages we're I think we're twenty eight pages or something, we're almost yes. thirty pages of crazy, notes crazy. from uh that are mostly from from hanging out and talking about it on stream with everybody. So yeah, that's what that's for. But uh yeah, so this week we should have those three pieces of content and then Next week, the next two pieces of content. Me. Um, Leo says I couldn't send a, I couldn't send a package and not have espresso caramel in it. <laughs> no, because I would have been like my heart would have been stabbed. <laughs> uh, and that's really cool and great timing because I just finally got mine up. Oh, you got a Patreon up too? Oh, nice. Go ahead and uh, share the link in here. Don't mind. And yeah. Just just walk away, dude. Just walk away. But it's so good. I know it's good, but get a spoon or stop. So uh, what, what else would we do? Oh, well, so because everything's a first this month uh with the patreon with the subscriptions for patreon and kofi we uh we have to do you know what what our template is right yeah for, for this content so yesterday or the day before i think just yesterday i finished the the template for that that content essentially what we're going to do is we're going to give it out in pdfs uh, each month. So kind of getting a, a booklet per month sort of thing with new content on the play. Uh, Miss Leo says, I wasn't going to take over your platform. I just remember talking with Jake and Dawn at Archon about it. Yes. I and appreciate absolutely it. share. Yeah, you guys can see uh, patreon.com Leo Crafted. What's that noise? King that I just no, it wasn't. It's like a little boom boom. I didn't hear it. I think you're just telling me we've been married too long, and that's what my voice is starting to sound like to you. <laughs> Going on 23 years this year. We were actually just recently at a family function and I was talking to Ty's aunt and uh, one of his cousins is having a birthday as well the same time that we were there and realized that his cousin and I are the same age. And so his aunt was like, you know, the mom of the cousin was like, well, you know, you look really good for your age. And I'm like going... So does she, because I thought I had at least 10 years on her. <laughs> I was like, damn. I absolutely did not realize she was my age. I actually didn't either. 
Uh, yeah, so Miss Leo's Patreon, you get to do things like vote on vote on the next prototype, uh, product type rather. Sorry, prototype of the next product type. No, that the, you get to to vote on oh, the come. next product type. I know, but you're making me mess up. You get to uh, vote on character sense and stuff like that because because Miss Leo's uh, sense and stuff for beard oils and soaps and stuff like that are all character themed. That's kind of cool. You get to get involved that way. The shower steamers, because I don't have, we have two bathrooms in the house, but I have, uh, in our bathroom, we have a shower. Miss Leo has shower steamers, and I freaking love those. Yeah, Miss Leo says I got super nerdy, nerdy with the tier names. You've nice. got Toss a Coin tier. <gasps> Oh, I love that one. Uh, the winch needs funds here. <laughs> to the witch, witch. Finally. Oh, nope, there's not finally. I haven't looked at two of them. Uh, the third one is full metal tear. Yeah, because one of the beard oils we got for you was one that was after uh, full metal alchemist, wasn't it? Or was it the... I remember mine. I've got White Wolf. Mm -hmm. I think I have Pink Boy. No, I don't think so. That's something Cora has. Uh, then the next tier was the Beifong tier. And finally, actually, finally, Plus Ultra tier. What was the. I don't know that one. Ultra. Trying to remember the one that you just sent to Cora. That was wrong arm. Yeah, good. Was something about the tea shop, the Jasmine tea shop, or maybe that's one that we had gotten from you before. Remember? Ow! That was really. Miss Leo agrees. I got a uh, strong arm. Okay. Um. Creep Show says if she weighs the same as a duck. No way. Um, they dress me up like this. Miss well, Leo says my hero academia for plus ultra. That's why I see I haven't watched that. I've watched uh YouTube videos. Okay, Gareth, I'm obviously it. a huge fan. Of this orange because it's literally the only thing I have done so far is add orange to this. <laughs> oh, I really love this orange. I really, really do. Really, really. And now I'm just kind of like making the leaf lines. They're actually if I if I was to come in and dry brush this, they are ridged. The leaves themselves, they do have the little leaves, leaf ridges, leaf ridges. But I'm probably not going to end up dry brushing this. Sleo says, Jasmine Dragon, I can't remember if you got, and I'm pretty sure you got a Boomerang Boy as well first yes. at Nerdfest. But you had something in, I believe it was Boomerang Boy, Cora wanted. I had Boomerang Boy and Strong Arm, but I don't remember what my thing uh, Kara says, I see you're just saying you do so you don't have to use the wet palette. No, 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 no. <laughs> Specifically. No, I'm, I'm actually, because for the, the flower portion that I want to do, um, I think wet blending is going to work the best, which a wet palette is really good for. So that's. I mean, that's really why I had it out was I was pretty sure I was going to need it for all the pinks. But I also am loving this orange. I mean, that looks right. So I also don't know where I want to do. I think I'm going to take these into a purple. I don't know. I have very little of a plan in my head happening. That's 
usually while I'm working on one thing, the, the next part of it is sort of developing. But then you run into things like this where, like, it, it's kind of looking awesome. I'm struggling to figure out where to go next. But where I am going definitely going to go next is the wet palette, which I have already, I'm going to punch you. I have already even prepped. Ooh, that was you. You made a noise. Like I have, I don't even know what it is. I have my, my paper in there. I have my, my pad in there. I've got everything prepped and ready to go. Now I have a wet hand. So I've moved off. My palette is like way over here. Not even in reach anymore. Done. Wet palette only. Itchy nose and a wet hand because I put my hand in the wet palette like an idiot. Let's see. I'm going to start on these. I'm going to do see the outside edges of the buds and my pictures like right there on the screen. The outside edges of the buds are like really, really bright pink. So maybe that's what I should do on these, like, uh, what do you call them? Like the scales, the, the big scales. Scoots. Scoots. I mean, that's, I guess that's what you're talking about. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is Scoots. use Scoots, eh? the really bright pink for that. We'll see. This might be a mistake, in which case we can wash it off. But I think I want a flatter brush for it. All right, now I've got things like sitting on my elbows and bugging me. Are my eyes in focus? No idea. Right all in here. It's so bright pink. It's so weird. I don't like pink. <laughs> oh. Killer. I haven't figured out what's notifying me yet. <laughs> so loud. Got chat things going on and I don't. I thought it was chat. <laughs> So, Pixie Pink, ugly, but my uh, mythical orange is amazing. Now, to be fair, I'm not really a pink person, really liked the color, so it's definitely not getting a fair shake. But I think I can save it. That's rude. Sorry. I'm trying to balance my hand. Maybe because you keep... I know, I know. So I'm intentionally not just like coating every spot. I want the um the grooves in between to stay darker. Help if I got a slightly smaller brush. Leo says, would it work to use like a faded red leaf like when it's drying and getting sun bleached? 
to be the closer shade of pink. Is that the idea? You want me mm -hmm. to try and set up what your um, your your photo that you're using? I'm trying to understand what she's saying. To be honest, the sugar high. <laughs> um. Well. Um, hi, did you understand that? Because I'm, I'm confused by that comment, honestly. And I don't know why. I really don't. Ms. Leo asks, why are you using the pink is what I'm asking. Okay, gotcha. Because the backside of the bud has pink. And there's going to be other, like all of those shades of pinks and purples that I have are going to be brought into are going to be brought into this. So it's not just going to have this weird one section of pink. Is it Telegram? That one definitely was. I just, um, I actually caught it this. So I'm not going to have this one like spot of pink and that's it. There's going to be white brought in. There, there's going to be a lot of different colors. So right now it's, this is this weird stark pink. It's kind of jarring, but a lot of other colors are going to be coming into this. The, a lot of different shades of pinks and purples. Like, I'm getting the violet right now. Wrong one. That's an ink, not pigment, or a paint. Because that's how I think I can make this look a little better. Is have it be pink like this, and then have the darker purple come in from the edges. Leo says, okay, I missed uh, that you have a theme to begin with. Yes. Would you like me to try to get that picture in there? I don't really have time before. But... Uh, yeah, if you, I mean, it's, it's a cherry blossom. I mean, everyone knows what a cherry blossom looks like, so. And this is the great thing about a wet palette is it keeps everything wet so I can, I really can wet blend a lot easier. God damn it. Hello, Sawdust Dragon. <laughs> Sawdust says, hey, y'all. Hello, how you feeling? Let us as sound as a pound. Here it says, Welcome, Dawn. <laughs> Saw that coming. <laughs> There's a good one. Come on. There we go. Doing this, this mall for anybody who hasn't seen this before. Side by side view that lets me 
work on another screen. But everything's smaller because your screens are side by side. it's ready assuming I change the right screen and this if is... we disappear it's Ty's fault <laughs> this is Dawn's reference oh and of course not seeing you anymore it's just me that's okay hey uh I do impressions now this is uh my impression of Gareth mixing his paint. <laughs> you gotta make the noise! The noise. Oh. <laughs> anyway, there is um the cherry blossoms that Dawn is. Color reference. Yes. You guys didn't know I did impressions, did you? I'm not gonna lie, Gareth, some of those stare downs are a little intimidating. <laughs> I am having brush issues. Um, Miss Leo says, sounds like more monitors are in order. Well, yeah, like one big stretch monitor, I can deal with that. No. Fast. Oh, <laughs> Gareth says, but you need a mic, sir. And good. I, I do not have a mic, sir. I believe the good was for how it makes you feel whenever <laughs> Gareth is mixing. I believe paints. so. Creep Show says, I thought the impression looked more like Psy from Duck Dynasty. <laughs> I, I mean, I have to look that up. I did not watch. Uh, I mean, I've, I've kind of seen pictures of the folks on Duck Dynasty. And of course, page. Oh, S-I. Sigh. <laughs> okay i could have pulled that off better than um uh, what's say six months ago when i still had the big long beard show you dawn this is who Sai is wet blending what wet blending huh for anybody who doesn't understand why i just keep saying that it's because you got to work fast your shit dries out Oh, yes. Yes, Creep Show, you are right. Uh, Garrett's gonna be back later. Gotta do the kids in bed thing. Have fun. Don't miss those days. No, just in general, I am absolutely hating that spot. So, that was a bad plan. It is not working. I'm going to move on. That's what I'm going to do. We'll come back to that when I figure it out. But I'm just going to roll with the punches, baby. Let's see. Let's try taking some of this mutant hue. Doing some highlights on the on the piece up here and see if that works a little better for us. Uh Sada says if it ain't wet, it ain't blending. Yeah. 
I think that might just be too bright of a pink. That just might be what it is. No. But I can go over it again and bring it back dark. Alright, that brush. Is that the second brush you're trashing tonight? I'm not trashing it. It's just, it's got like an extra couple of bristles and it's going to hit spots I don't want it to hit. So I need to not use that. I mean, sometimes things just don't go my way when I'm painting. I'm unhappy with no matter what I'm doing. And if that's the case, just start over. Brushes are hating me tonight. I really don't get it. Got another option. A liner brush. But it says I love the base color on this dragon. Yeah. I wanted to get that red purple look that the that the uh branches have. Sometimes it's hard for me to stay on theme, too, you know? Sometimes it works really well, sometimes it doesn't. That I don't like either. So, we may leave the dragon these dark colors. What I'm doing right now is I just literally put my brush in water and I'm just scrubbing it to get all that off. Um, Soda says, I feel yeah, I spent about five hours today trying to create a 12 volt photo safe red light solution that I can take out into in the field. Then after I spent all of that time, I found a solution on Amazon. Oh, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> So, Miss Leo says, join Crypt Monkey, Kofi, and Patreon to support Dawn's need for an extensive collection of paintbrushes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I mean, really, the thing is, is a lot of these brushes, what I'll do is off stream, I will sit there with, you know, that's a, the one over here. Here it is. Off stream, focus. Nowhere to go. Or... Are you wanting me to? No, okay. it's fine. It's it's like almost impossible to show you guys, but it has extra little bristles coming up, and so when I try to get a nice clean tip, it's not. So off stream, I'll take scissors and I'll literally just give all my hairbrushes haircuts and make them nice and beautiful. Um, this is not one of those times that that's something that I should be doing right now. So, all right. I don't think I'm going to be able to scrub this off because I think I waited too long. Nope, it's coming off. See, what I think here is the solution to stay in theme is to go to my flowers and make my flowers look like cherry blossoms and leave the, tr the dragon to look like the um the leaves and the branches yeah because putting this pink on here is just it's just fucking weird looking <laughs> okay that is going to work but i'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch me clean that up so we're going to move on for a few minutes it's the best thing to do when you're getting pissed off at a miniature move it aside so you don't throw it now we're just going to paint a flower. And 
This is the purple. Doing this backward. Can I see the picture again? Sharp. And what I should be doing is building it from the last color up. So it has that light purple. Like Show it again? No. The light purple, like the orc's blood. No, mutant hue is what I've got right now. I don't know. If, I don't think I'm in focus here. Kind of coming almost all the way to the tip. That one down. So what I'm doing... Bringing that one out on each petal. Focus. With leaving some white showing. And then I'll build up the next color, but it won't come nearly as high, you know? Because it is this really light one. And then one of the light pinks. I think I'll use the centaur skin. And then right in the center will be that really bright pink. And I just printed this these off in varying sizes. But I didn't have one of all, you know, all the sizes on any so one spot. You did like three different sizes or something, right? Yeah. Uh, Soda says, okay, how many individual flowers are you painting? I probably won't paint them all. But I printed a bunch in case they break mm -hmm. or in case I throw them, I lose them, that sort of stuff. Soda says, I see a little pile over there. <laughs> yeah. But it also, you can see how quickly this kind of goes. Like we've already done five. I wanted to get the flowers done before stream because, you know, like, I don't know why you guys want to watch me paint 50 million flowers, all the same thing, but I did not get them. This is um. And the thing is, is I'll probably paint more than I'm going to use as well. Oh, convenient. These two are stuck together. For your pleasure. Yeah, if I had had room, the best way to print these is to where the the bottom supported area is stuck together, and print them in a strip. That way, you can just hold one strip and go. Bubba says you have not done five. You did the first color on five. <laughs> right, but each color, like that, was the most coverage. The next color will go out just a little bit. The next color will go out like right in the center, and that's it. And we're moving on to the next color. So, cool. All right, the next color is, I want to do centaur skin, which is right there. Okay. Stupid brush. I hate these brushes. I don't. They're just pissing me off tonight. Stupid. Those two done. It, I mean, it takes longer for me to pick it up than it does to, to actually do the next color. It's a subtle difference in the color, but kind of part of it, you know? And this flower file was just a free f file that I found on Thingverse, so. 
Tata says that centaur skin looks off, not quite the right hue of real centaur. <laughs> it's the camera, it, it adds two shades of color. <laughs> Flowers, please. Uh, you're talking about your reference? Yes. I want to look to make sure one more time. Okay. Um, but it says, oh, I see auto color correction strikes again. Yeah, I was messing with the uh, exposure on my, if, if you mean that my camera kept getting darker and brighter and stuff. No, I think he's talking about the centaur skin. Oh. <laughs> it's true. It doesn't quite look the same. No. We, I've, I've heard more than once that. Everything looks better in person than it does on stream, but, and that sucks that you guys can't see what, what it actually looks like, but, I mean, let's be real, you guys are not here to watch me paint, you're here to scare the shit out of me. Uh, for anybody watching on YouTube, yeah, what Don's referring to is on, on the Twitch stream, as you're watching, you gain the, uh, uh, the channel points, what do we call them? Channel points. Crypt coin or something. Crypt, crypt points. So uh, you can end up spending those, or, or real money with bits as well, on uh, our sounds. And we have it a little bit cranked. Don't you touch that button. Well, I was just checking to see where the volume no, was. No, no, no. It was already getting me, thank you. <laughs> so every once in a while, as Dawn is painting eyeballs, calling werewolf or something. Or the rubber ducky of doom. Like this. Okay. I fucking knew I what was you. happening. I told you it was going to do it. <laughs> knew it was going to happen. I saw it and it still got me. Um, but it says, well, if y'all get, if y'all used 50 K $50,000 broadcast cameras, you would not have these color issues. Can I borrow one? Yeah. I mean, are you loaning them or because <laughs> it sounds great. <laughs> I mean, I'd be ecstatic with like 1000 cameras. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and to be fair you know i know that you guys contribute points and and bits and all of that kind of stuff and just so we're clear the money that is gathered from streaming is put back into streaming equipment like my mic yeah the new mic instead of sharing mics a new monitor for me to see and stuff like that so it, it is of course everybody's now gonna yeah all they did was cause like really terrible streams while tyler figured out how to make it all work together <laughs> And it gets specialty color paints that you guys request. Yeah. Okay, so flowers are done. They're that quick. So now the flowers can go on and add the color. We can leave him the bark color, which is much better. So what time is it? It is 8.45. And we end at 9.30 today. Yes. Yeah, and it sounds like Gareth is going to be streaming, so we okay. will be raiding. All right, well, then I need to get button. And I'm going to leave him alone because I'm going to have to, basically, I'm going to repaint this, or I'm going to keep washing this, but I am not going to make you guys watch me wash. Um, <laughs> that when I saw this coming. Had time just to look over at you. 
while I think about add the mud to the base while I think about what color I am going to use to highlight him. Goddess points out that as far as the the streaming funds go, that shiny stream deck, that's right. We got that with uh Yes. We might have bought that ahead of time. Because I'm a big baby and I'm like, I really want this toy. If you're referring to that one, that one was gifted to us. Yeah, the white one uh, is from uh Sunbaron. In my palette knife. I have nothing. You know what we're gonna do? But animosity for me. We're gonna take one of the brushes that pissed me off. We're gonna use it for mud. Because I don't have my palette knife over here. Start using Yeah. A palette. Deal. But we're gonna put mud down all around here. So that that's gonna be my base. We're gonna add grass to it. Oh, this is very nice. I love mine for sure. Yeah. Pretty much as soon as I saw them, I was Oh, my life could be easier. <laughs> uh, and so this is now Dawn. Don't go slinging mud. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Sling it. Sling it. I was slinging at you, dumbass. Don't say that. still see you and whether or not you were sitting up straight or not i would still not hit you true but you'd also probably break something i like I have mud. very bad depth perception that is the shots fired I love this stuff. Mud's the only one I have right now. But they are, there are quite a few different textures. And I plan on increasing which ones I have. Ms. Leo says, I know it's supposed to be a leaf dragon, but the paint as it is now, it reminds me of a Pinocchio or, or a pine cone. Sorry, Pinocchio. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of a pine cone. Yeah, I like it. I think the 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 shapes of those leaves with that color, it has that uh, yeah sort of edge of a bike pine cone look. For anybody that may be watching now that wasn't on earlier, Dawn was hinting at we'll be doing something special pretty soon because we are about to hit one year streaming now. Crazy. It doesn't seem like that long at all to me. Um, I miss certainly been screaming by. So we don't know what yet. Um, but it'll probably be in, involving something with a word that starts with the letter G. Good guess. Ends with a Y. Uh, Soda Strecken says, In basic training, our drill sergeant used to say, Don't shoot the wildlife at the shooting range. But don't worry. They have found that standing in front of the target is the safest place. <laughs> that is absolutely true when it comes to me. Stand still and you won't accidentally run into it flying through the air. So for me, it was a long time before we realized that one of the reasons that I can't aim at anything when I'm throwing or shooting or anything like that is because I'm throwing right-handed, shooting left -hand, right-handed, doing all of these right things right-handed because that's my dominant hand. Guess what, though? 
My left eye is my dominant eye. So I shoot left-handed. And I th should throw left-handed. But my left arm is weak. So I don't. Sorry, Mr. Mike. So that's all nice and muddy now down there. And once that dries, I'll put gas all around to make it liven up some. And I need Sardis. Sardis says, oh, yes, we are so the same. What do you guys think? Should we put some a copper vein going through the rock, or should we just leave the rock be a rock? Not a rock. I got a rock. You do a gold vein, a copper vein. I don't really care. I'm going to dry brush it first. Some gray. Blood vein. We could do a blood vein. <laughs> It's a flesh rock. Like I have a piece of hair tickling me. And I just put my finger in the damn mud. Uh, Soda says silver, I think, so that it's more different. Yeah, stand out more. I can do that. Hopefully also, if you guys see it done, you will no longer be afraid of trying it yourself. Because it's so simple and amazing and so much fun. And it's like a huge impact thing. Uh, Thotos is corrected and says uranium. Uh, what color is uranium? No, like yellow green or something. No idea. Let us Google it. I will goggle it. All right, I am looking up the color of uranium, so I will be on the list now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. So yeah, you see, Dawn, it looks like a yellow green thingy. Okay. Well, I. I want to use a metallic because it won't read well. So, don't know that that color is really going to be an option. So, here's what we will do. Get out of here. That's our options. All right. Mix yellow and silver. Hmm. Thinking. Damn it. Itchy nose. It is dry. It's like a piece of hair is tickling the hell out of me. <laughs> I'm thinking that the bright gold. <laughs> It says mix yellow and silver. Hey, Gareth. Hello, Gareth. Welcome mix back. Mix yellow and silver and blueberry cereal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm thinking the bright gold and the silver is gonna what is gonna mix well to make that color, if at all. I don't know, because that's a really bright yellow. It's I almost to me seems like I should be using just the straight up bright gold. don't know that this is going to really make it brighter. But we'll see. No. Nope, that actually just tones down the brightness. It, it, it just makes it more silver. Okay. That does not work. <laughs> it's really like muddy silver now really what it is okay that's not that's not gonna happen i just hmm 
Uh, no, Gareth, they have not. So technically, I have the fire lizard. What do you think about using that one? You need me to move this out of the way now? Yes, because I can't see where I'm pointing. So I could use this. Potentially this is not a security hackrid that I have warned for you. Uh, Someone has altered the stream. Oh. <laughs> the elf house. That will be the first print that Tyler will have done for the stream. Because he is going to do that I mean, with ELA. Technically, that's not true. Because we've done like no. Pan's Labyrinth. But that wasn't the focus of the stream. No, that's true. On both, you, Mine were afterthoughts. Well, cool. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is use the fire lizard as the yellow for, and then potentially I can go over it with this effect paint, which is fairy dust, which should make it give, her, give it a little bit of shimmer shimmer. Hmm. That's what we're going to attempt. Because I think this is the closest color to uranium that I have. So, nice clean brush. Fine tip. Make lightning. Hello, Golden Ghosty. Hi, Golden. Yeah, I pulled something on that one. Excuse me. So, that's it. And we're going to stop doing it. I'm going to make my palette right here on my. Came from the wet palette. <laughs> okay. Um. Leo says, for the future, do you think you would start making your own paints with a base micas? Because I think you can make a lot of cool colors that way. Um, due to my issue with colors, no. I'm not going to believe this. Gareth says, and now I'm down to 2,000 channel points. Holy shit. Gareth, you have not been watching enough. Down to 2,000 plus 12,000. Yeah. Uh, Gareth had a lot of points. Uh, Ghosty says, Dawn, that looks awesome. Love those colors. Uh, ignore the, the beautiful pink saddle that it's having right now, because that's going to go away. That was not working. So we're, we're going to get away from there. Gareth says, um, Hey, 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 that's not a damn wet palette. <laughs> it came from the wet palette. The wet palette's too far over. Uh, Rada says, I'm still at 6K. Smugly. He said that's smugly. I can tell by the way the text looks. Um, Ghosty says, oh, I'd love for you to post pictures in Discord. Love to see it. Oh, oh, uh, sorry. I wasn't talking about the whole conversation. They were talking about Garrus working on uh, touching up the sword he's been working on. Oh, yeah, that thing has been looking amazing. Is that, you're working on that again tonight, yeah? Miss Leo says, issues with colors? Quite a question. Um, I am on the colorblind spectrum. I have issues with my nose, and it's like I have a piece of hair somewhere around here. Um, I have issues with... Blues and purples are, are quite difficult for me. Uh, but beyond that, I seem to have issues with other colors as well that I'm just not even com fully aware that I have an issue with it until there's an issue. Right. I knew Sada said that uh, smugly. He pointed out that he said that with his pinky up. I'm still at 6K. I brought the wet palette over here. That's just it. Wet palette. I use a wet palette. <laughs> um, so, oh, oh, sorry. 
me to go? Yeah. Okay. Christy says, something's different. Did the camera angle change? Mm -hmm. Because this guy's so tall, I put, normally I have the camera straight in front of me and it's on these little tiny legs and it points out um, toward Tyler. What I did was I put the camera over on the side so I could catch, you guys are basically seeing the side angle instead. Um, but this makes it a little easier for you guys to see what's going on with a large mini. Here says, yep, I'll be working on that and wait to see it tonight. I can't wait. The thing is looking awesome. Uh, Ghosty says, oh, good news. I finally finished up all my schoolwork. So, Gareth, I'll finally be able to tune in for longer. Yay. Good stuff. Are you done done? Still grad time? Ghosty. Um, just in general, I'm uncomfortable with colors as well. I, if I have my choice of drawing or painting, um, pure black and white is actually where I am the most comfortable. Um, I, I struggle with the, what I like to call the cartoon or the, the kindergarten, kindergartner idea of what color is. And I have difficulty letting go of that idea. You know, grass is green, tree trunks are brown, sky is blue. And these things are just wrong. It's not what they are. Sodas asks, how hard would it be to make an acorn pie sale? Sign for the elf house. <laughs> uh, Ghosty says yeah my last day is next Monday then I'm officially done with high school so the next few days are just chilling it's groovy that's groovy I know this sounds super stupid but I am a mom so I have to say it I'm so proud of you <laughs> yeah get some rest it's an accomplishment and you should be super proud of yourself Okay, so now we have veins going all over this thing. I hope that anybody who was thinking about, you know, putting copper veins, gold veins, whatever, going through rock and was intimidated by it, I hope you're no longer intimidated. Because they're just, it, it's make a squiggly line. That's all you're doing. And aesthetically, you're putting it where you want it to go, and that's it. A tree branch, lightning, and gold, or, you know, rock veining, all the same process. Um, so, another bit of news. Not sure, we're not, we're not doing another makeup day this week, I don't believe. No, but... I don't think we can. No, we got we got a lot to do. But that being said, Sundays seem like maybe they're about to become a regular thing. Cora is going to take over the Sunday show, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Um, I think their stuff's being printed now, or just finished printed. Uh, it will be printing tonight. Because I I had it on the build plate with somebody's order, and that person canceled the order. So then I just threw that file out of the way, and then remembered that what was printing with that file still needed to be printed. So that's cool. I don't remember what time if we're going to stay at this. I think we're going to stay at the same time at least to begin with. I I, I don't know. We'll let you guys know for sure. Yeah, we'll definitely post it in Discord, too. Sodus Dragon says, So, Dawn, about that sign, was that a no-go? I think you were saying that no, you, yeah, you no, can I do it. I definitely think I can do that. Yeah. That was cool. 
I was I was actually the reason I was looking off into space was because I was picturing the elf, I have the an house idea. itself. I have an idea actually. And there's a couple of spots that are like ideal for placing a sign. This is not going to be a I have a warning for you. Someone has altered the stream. That would be Sawdust been... Dragon. And he says, make it so. So number one. So I have an idea. We'll talk after the stream. See if it would work. If it's a peanut butter and chocolate idea or if it's just was it ink pen and nacho cottage cheese, cheese or some cottage cheese? Yeah, it's it it's not that. Um uh, Ghosty says, So Dawn, that big mutated frog, Gregory, we named him. Yes. I've got a big diorama planned for him, and I'm even writing a short story for him. Excellent. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. Yes, it will be printing tomorrow with the rest of your order. And, and, and... We have a giant printer that is supposedly going to be arriving on Saturday. We'll see. We'll see. The label has been printed and it has estimated arrival is Saturday at some point. But it doesn't actually hasn't actually been like handed off to FedEx. So. <laughs> yeah, it is neat, Miss Leo. We we get here too. <laughs> Okay. I have mud on my hands. And Sada says, and there was much rejoicing. Yes. Uh, goes, so, veining. Done. That looks good, too. Super simple, guys. At least to my colorblind eyes, it does look kind of like uranium. I'm sorry, it's too close to Uranus. So, every time you say Maybe it. that's pronounced Uranus. <laughs> Uh, I'm too. I'm giggling. Sawdust, thank, thank you for the you 20 bits. That. The 20 corgi headed bits. Mm. We're at or just over half. Hmm. Ghosty says, wait, make sure I didn't. No, I didn't. I thought I skipped something for a second there. And Ghosty says, I love that guy. Can't wait to get him. I'm thinking of making him a bit of a major legend in my. Little world building project. Oh, nice. Really, that's cool. Soda okay. says it looks very cool. So, the way these are printed, they have quite a big um, piece in the back, which is actually going to be kind of a pain to actually get it on the tree. Nice and Wash, so I'm just going to snip that off. And. Sorry, guys. Excuse my rich. My rich. Excuse my reach. Excuse my rich. Uh, I say reach like a super villain. This is my rich. Weird, man. I went to shul to learn that you, know you shouldn't tonight, go girl. into someone else's rich. No, we're watching now. Okay. You could be attacked by SBI or I forgot what I was working on. Just a dot, not a lot. Just right. a dot, not a lot. This may or may not work. I may have to use spray. Let's try it without first. I'm gonna have to use a spray. It kind of sprays crazy, so I sprayed it on my little palette over there, and I'm gonna brush it on here. And this spray 
just a uh, quick set spray. It it's kind of oily, which is kind of nice for stuff like this because it doesn't dry really quickly, you know. This is so weird for me because the, everything is still on its supports and I have to clip it. Because usually whenever things are not or not cured yet, I can just pull them off with my hands. Most of them. Some of them I still have to clip. They're all hardened up now, though. But yeah, now they're all hard, so I can actually, like, break the... Uh, Soto says, did y'all watch the Bleach series? I, I mean, I've seen part of it years ago. I honestly don't even remember a lot about it. <laughs> that you... So oh, I should probably go in and that. Look. That's where I want you. That's where you're staying. Yeah, that was a better choice. That's adding some neat contrast. How pretty. That's a way better idea. So I'll just fix that. It looks like a saddle at the moment. <laughs> I am going to reiterate subscription stuff here. Yes, do that, please. Because this is boring as hell. Uh, I'm excited anyway. Uh, last weekend, we got our first newsletter out. I think, Ghosty, if you're still on, hopefully... Well, I don't know if you've had a chance to read it or not yet, but uh, let us know if you see anything you don't like. Things you see would be cool to add to it or something like that. Let us know. It was a lot of fun to do. And next week, we're going to be adding a new section to it already. I'm pumped about the new section because hopefully it's something to make you feel a little bit like you're in Ka on Cathar. So that'll be fun. <clears throat> but uh, so this week we are working on three pieces, at least three pieces of our content will be released this week uh, for subscribers. Um, and next week, the last two pieces will be, released unless we go on a tear and you know, it could be three pieces on Friday and then the other two pieces on Saturday. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's cool I mean, because yesterday we got our, our template kind of set our, our initial template that will release these, uh, the PDF of the, the content for the plane. I'm showing this to you guys in case there's anybody who hasn't been around lately to see that we started this Patreon and Kofi Either one, if you're interested, you can join either one for the same prices. You get the same yeah, uh, stuff for it's, backing them. Yeah, it's literally just two different platforms. That's it. We were already using Kofi, so we figured, you know, in case some people are more comfortable with that, or Patreon's pretty, pretty well known, though. But, uh, yeah, we're moving. It feels, it feels good. It feels good, yeah, to be doing something with the plane other than just taking notes. I guess I shouldn't say that because I did start the short story. Mm -hmm. The first short story. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on with the Patreon stuff. Um, Lada says, the flowers and the dragon remind me of the soul reapers. You know, butcher this. Zan Pakuto that puts flowers on all blades. Yeah, I, I don't remember the name. I don't think I watched very much of it. That's probably why I don't have the, much of a memory of it. Hey, <laughs> good Gareth for the dock. Docky of doom. Um, I uh, think I sent you a sticker. <laughs> Ghosty says, yeah, I was able to read that today. Look good. I really liked it. Good. Cool. Yeah, we're trying, we're trying with the newsletter. We're trying to... Do this mix of here's some entertaining stuff and here's how the project's going is the intent. Um, Eris says so pretty with flowers. It deadly. And then Ducky of Doom us. Ghosty says I'm very very excited to hear more about the short story. 
yeah, I need to get back. I mean, I was still, I'm still in the second scene because I've been kind of trapped on other things. That's, that's part of what we hope this will speed those things up since we're, we're actually putting a lot of time to this. Um, Kara says, and it's on my desk laughing evilly with me. <laughs> YouTube. Oh, YouTube, are you saying stuff? Nope. On YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm throwing out my YouTube warning every once in a while. I got to let you guys know. <clears throat> I kind of get wrapped up in things. And... Even though I try not to do it, you checking YouTube chat ends up at the end of my list. So bear with me. If you put something in there, I will catch it up and ask Dawn or read it out or whatever is appropriate. And also remember that I actually cannot see that screen at all. So it's not like I'm ignoring you on purpose. Mm, yeah, Dawn can't see it. I don't allow it. Stick, mother stick. There. Hey. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Gar Gareth said it. It's on my desk laughing evilly at me, right next to Michael's sticker. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, he's referring to Michael Mordor, if you guys haven't checked him out. The, the Goblin King also does painting. Golden Ghost says, Are you planning on posting progress for the Patreon members, or are you going to wait for it to be down to give it to it? I think that's done. Short story be done to give it to us oh uh <laughs> he already moved on from that no 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 i was i'm yeah slow headed uh are you planning to post on posting progress for a short story so how did we so 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 obviously we don't have that in the tiers but oh no i do have it in the tiers i knew there was a way i was doing the short stories yeah so so occasionally you guys are just gonna get one in a pdf form um, and then we have other plans. I don't think we should talk about the other plans yet that aren't written down, but so we have other things to get stories and, and other content that's not in the Patreon stuff. Once things are like done, done, um, dun, dun, dun. sorry, dun, dun. I just couldn't resist. I'm sorry. But as far as like, uh, I'm this far into the story or something, I hadn't really thought about that. Um, mainly just. That we know we're going to have some of that 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 just is published like on the website some of that that subscribers get early um but yeah i don't know i'd really just thought about like hey it's done and now we're going to make a decision whether it's going to go here first or if we're going to hold it back for so we got to hold some things back so that later on it's really cool when it's all a completed project right um is that something i don't know is that something that that you think you'd be interested in i'm you know seeing three of seven for this short story <laughs> kind of thing or am i just misunderstanding what you mean also i guess yes that is much better okay so now i need to Normally, like you have it against the backdrop, but there's so much stuff behind. Oh, oh. there. <laughs> you can't see the pink saddle. <laughs> <laughs> so now he very much looks like it's gone. A little bit. I got so, some. Did. Oh. Oh. I did though. Bad Toady. <laughs> oh, Miss Leo says, I think it would be cool to parcel out. So some of it is for patrons and some is for general public. So they get hooked. If it's one of seven or something, it would really encourage people to dive in deeper. And I think what you're saying is like, say, here's a scene, like here's a whole scene. It's not the whole story or something. If I understand you correctly. That that would be interesting. And and the idea, the general idea that we want to, like if you want to look at a 
so we we have five pieces of content that were developed and it's ready for short stories for instance right and patrons would get you want to say something baby i was just saying i'm using my uh violet ink game ink which is like a shade it's really really thin and i'm just kind of coming into some of these creases and, and deepening but that is it okay so uh patrons let's say we have 20 things that have just a round number that I keep playing with when I'm talking to Dawn too. We have 20 developed pieces of content and this content for the most part is just describing what uh, a land ship is. Um, describing what a career like a placement advisor is. Um, these different elements that we've talked about and some that we haven't talked about yet. So let's say we develop 20 in a month. Um, ideally, we're going to say five of those are going to go to patrons. Five of them might be early releases or um, uh, once we figure out how to do this for crowd forgers. And then the remaining 10 things we kind of hold back so that because I mean, we don't want to give you everything like this. The stories get done. They're like, oh yeah, I know about all that. <laughs> so, uh, and even the things, ideally, even the things that you're getting early, we hope are exciting too. Even if you know about them, like one of the piece of content, I'm not going to say what it is yet, but one of the pieces of content that will be released either this week or next week, subscribers, is something that if you're a crowd forger, you know about this thing. But we, uh, in developing it, we, we, I don't know how to put it. It's got a new feature, something that, that we haven't talked about before yet that I think is fun. I think yes. it's fun as hell. But, uh, so that sort of thing to, cause I just want to keep everybody interested as we go along, both on these short segments and in these different groups like crowd forgers and subscribers and the eventual people who don't know anything about it. As well that's the goal it's fluid at this point because obviously we want to do what, what folks want us to do to see the progress okay now that i'm way behind and, and all of that also being said you know there's like ty said we you know this is in development we have we've we're just starting out and as the patreon grows the the things will grow as well yes as as we get more more people it'll it'll be more things that we're showing off yeah lost it i mean it, it oh it was sort of a side note never mind yeah it, it really boils down to you know the the more the patreon is bringing in the more you know we more time we're going to spend on on it yeah um, Rusty says, I think it would be cool to see the progress of the story, but I could definitely understand wanting to wait. I think it could be cool, I'd say, every five scenes or whatever, you could share it and maybe get some constructive criticism or plans for the future. God damn. Oh, all right. Gareth got me. All right, Gareth, we'll see you soon. I think I swallowed my tongue. Uh, <laughs> So, so yeah, I, I like the idea of that, especially if we're being careful and not giving like, here's the final scene, you know, something silly like that. But uh, something where it's just starting to roll, maybe like, hey, here's the second scene of this story. Um, says that could be fun. Yeah, I like the idea of just sharing like little teasers, just one random scene. Uh, Gareth says, leave the first part ending on a cliffhanger and then say in your best radio announcer voice, tune in next time on our Patreon channel. <laughs> Miss um, Leo says, it's got upgrade, up, uh, upgrades. And Gareth, see you soon. Do, 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 do.
anyway, I went on more about the Patreon than I intended to, but I am, I'm so excited that it's an easy, easy one to run with. Yeah. I mean, every, every time we work on developing something now, it's like that much closer to obviously getting it published, but then hopefully getting other people interested in content creation with it as well. Oh, I will say this because I, I mean, I put it on paper now, so it's decided. Uh, one of the things that I talked about uh, probably a couple of months ago now was that I was talking to one of the crowd forgers who, who, uh, who knows about animals, um, about what to call this, uh, near mammal, not quite mammal classification of creatures that, that exist on Cathar. And we are going to go with stem mammal, which, uh, are that they're around before mammals here on earth and they had some sort of reptilian like they were closer to reptiles than we are now certainly and what that means in cathar are, are creatures that are stem mammals tend to be mostly furry but then they also have parts of their body that might have scoots that are they're kind of like scales they're not scales, kind of like scales. Pink saddles. <laughs> yeah. And on Kethar, that usually is presented in the form of like the chest uh, and the front of their legs. And then the rest of them are probably covered in hair. So it gives them kind of a natural armor sort of thing. Um, do, do, do. Ghosty says, when will the next crowd forge? Will it be Sunday? It will not be Sunday. So it'll be Wednesday, I, I think. I, I kind of needed to take this week off anyway because it's been a lot of work getting started on the Patreon. I, yeah. I, I feel good about it because ne next month is going to be much easier to uh, to get these things out there. It's just right now because well, we don't have a template. So it had to be developed and that sort of stuff is it's time consuming. It's not just that. We had to do all the work for the to just the the patreon itself get yeah. all of that stuff figured out get all the tiers figured out so that puts us behind on getting content done because we got to get the patreon ready now the patreon's ready now we got to get the content done now we got to make the layouts now we got the layouts now we can make the content now we can release stuff uh -huh. and next month it'll be put the content into the layout that's already established or tweak the layout because, you know, this or that, which we do already have some ideas of what we're going to be doing with the layout weeks. Cause... Yeah. Uh, and also just to mention for anybody that is on the fence about it, maybe I just, just want to make for this first month. So if you become a subscriber on either Kofi or Patreon, either one, uh, by May 31st, then we are going to be sending you a physical packet which will have a postcard excuse me it'll have a postcard we'll have a sticker and um a campfire story which are, campfire stories are going to be important to a lot of the content on the chain. um if you are a crowd forger and well i'm sorry let, let me not jump ahead your crowd forger. We're also going to be getting information end of this month, beginning of next month, uh, for anybody who's involved in crowd forging. And you're going to get a packet, a different packet of that same kind of thing, like a sticker, uh, campfire story, and a postcard. Right? It could alter slightly if we find something cool to to mix things up. And if you're both, if you're a crowd forger and a patron, then you're actually going to get three hits. So you'll get a third set of content, you know, probably a sticker, maybe a postcard. Maybe we figure out some other clever thing. I'm having ideas while I'm sitting here thinking about it, actually. And, uh, and a, definitely another campfire story. So there's, there's my big sale. If, if you guys are interested in that sorts of stuff, we will absolutely, absolutely, 
We will absolutely be sending you a very full envelope. Your presents. Presents, yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh. Miss Leo says, so kind of like flip to dots for their scale like shell material. Um, shell material would be like scoots. Yes, yeah. Um, as far as that classification of stem mammals, and actually, I've looked this up so many times. Because uh, one of the really cool ones that that I think when I was a kid, I always thought it was a dinosaur, but it's actually before the dinosaurs is Demetrodon. I'm sure that share a link. There we go. That's a neat. Uh, so I'm just picking a link, guys. Be as wary as you feel you need to, but this is uh, an article with some pictures about Demetrodon. Non-dinosaur dinosaur is the title of the article. Um, so that is a stem mammal type creature. It, it was not a dinosaur. And it wasn't a lizard. It looks like a lizard, but it's got that big fin on its back. Okay. Go. Ghosty says, what are the campfire stories? The camp <laughs> the campfire stories. My brainchild, actually. Yeah. But I, I mean it's right up my alley though, because oh, yeah. Yeah. the the dark after stuff we do something called uh is where we started doing something called scraps. The idea it, it I mean it's an apocalyptic world, the dark after, and you know that part in apocalyptic movies when you walk up to the bulletin board in the in, in the empty town and you're trying to figure out you know where mom and dad went or something by all these pictures and index cards and stuff say we went to grandma's house meet us there that sort of stuff so that that's where the idea of the little short serials came from for telling stories about our games um and dawn came up with the idea of saying why don't we do campfire stories because you think about the kind of era we're in that storytelling is going to be big you don't have television and radio and things like that, right? So campfire stories are kind of what you think of them, you know, with us. There's going to be a lot of them that are hopefully a little bit spooky, like fun spooky. Um, but also the, you think about the tall tale of the Old West, that sort of thing. Uh, the babe in uh, Lumberjack, I can't, I can't think of his name. Blue, the babe is, is a is blue the, ox. That's what. And days Daniel. No. You really Paul Bunyan. Oh, somebody Paul else just put Paul Bunyan. Oh come too. on! Don't help him. That was so much fun. I got Paul just as oh, Miss Leo so put in Paul fun. Bunyan. Yeah, like Paul Bunyan, uh, John Henry, those sorts of things. So, like in, uh, I don't want to. I'm not. I'm not going to give up a whole lot. But like one of the big legendary people that you'll see pop up in stories a lot is Mark. And so much, he's such a big hero legend type person that people use him as, uh, with colloquial sayings that you'll see us saying a lot, like Mark save you. You'll see our posts in Mark save you, Dawn and I. Um, so that's kind of what the campfire stories are just little snippets, but there are, there are ways for you to see pockets in the world that, that we're not necessarily talking about right now. And even like, it will also help to set a tone and set or like in between short stories in the book of, you know, it'll set the tone for the next story to have a short, you know, a little baby story in there that kind of. Give it up. Give it up for me. I'm painting pretty <laughs> colors. No, it is cool. I, I, I think it's a neat idea. Our plan, you know, part of the structural plan for the short story books is that uh, you read horror and stuff like that, science, science fiction. A lot of times you'll see 
novels with poetry in between chapters. So instead we'll have campfire stories, little campfire stories in between short stories. Uh, but yeah, they're intended to be very small, anywhere from like a couple of paragraphs to a page, something like that. Uh, Miss Leo says, I'm going to say this wrong. Glyptodonts are a little further on in history as they are technically a mammal. Ah, I gotcha. Okay. Um, Paul Bunyan, I saw that. Miss Leo apologized to you, but I say thank you. Uh, <laughs> Ghosty says, oh, that was entertaining. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of, that kind of falls into the culture of the plane. I really like that. Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to be exciting. Yeah. Uh, go on. Sir. It is 36 after. And I'm not sure if you're ready to switch. I am simply doing eyeballs at this point. So, yes. I'm going to do purple eyeballs. I'm going to do a, a really dark purple circle. And then I'm going to do a lavender circle inside of that. So I'll have the outside dark rim. And then I'll do a dot of black. And I just painted over the pink saddle. It's gone. And then uh, it's all basing stuff after that. And I will post pictures when I am done. And I probably will sit here and paint some more with... While we watch Gareth. We almost weren't watching Gareth. What did you just do? I, I so I get used to doing this because we, we get rid of bots that are just kind of hanging out. And I started to type ban Gareth. Oh, <laughs> Tyler. No, I realized it before I even got Gareth's name in there. I was like, whoa, wrong command. Jackass. Oops. So, um, thank you guys for joining us. Please hang out and join our raid over to Gareth. And let's, you know, scare the shit out of him. <laughs> he doesn't have the big, loud, he scary He's sounds. got a few, a few ones that we can play with. It's fun. He does have a few. That's correct. Um, all right, let's go. All right, so thank you guys for hanging out. And we will see you next time. We'll see you Sunday. And I will put stuff in Discord when this is done. Well, I'll put Discord now as well. But. <laughs> See you, Bye, folks. guys. Metallic purple eye. Awesome. Hello, Crit Hello. Monkey. Thank you for the raid. Woohoo! Not even watching on my phone. I have my phone in the pocket. Pocket this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Thank you, Sawdust. Uh, looks like FedEx.